The COE interface is a variant of the CAN protocol, controller area network, used to manage parameters of devices in an Ethercat network. These parameters can be read-only or read-and-write. The parameters are organized in a hierarchical table and they have an index, word, and an index offset, byte. So for example, the KP factor of a stepper drive EL7031 is stored at the COE address 8011 semicolon 01. The COE addresses are separated by ranges. The 1000 range, this is where fixed identity information for a device is stored, including name, manufacturer, serial number. It also contains information about what process data configuration is being used and which ones are available. 8000. This is where the operational and functional parameters for all channels are stored. Things like gains, filter settings, output frequency. 6000 input PDOs, 7000 output PDOs. These parameters are stored in the slave's firmware. And EEPRONs are subject to a limited lifetime of approximately 100,000 write operations. After that, there is no longer guarantee that new data is going to be reliably saved or read from the memory. Keep that in mind when you'll be programmatically writing and reading from the COE. If you overdo it, that can damage your device. It is also important to know that you can set parameters during the startup. That serves the purpose of writing your application's parameters to your hardware in case you need to replace it. As a new device will be set with the default values. In this episode, we are going to programmatically read and write from the COE. We will implement a state machine that will manage the process and facilitate the usage of these tools. You can download the function block from my repo and use it in your own project. Create a new POU called fb underscore read COE. Make sure it is of type function block and not program. Declare the inputs. The AMS net ID of the bus where your device is located. The slave address of your device. The index and sub index of the COE parameter you want to read. Now declare the outputs. This function block will return the parameter that we are interested in, as well as a done and an error bit. We will also need a couple of auxiliary variables, an execute bit and a fbeccoe as do read function block instance. To use it, we need to add the tc underscore ethercad library in our references. Besides that, we will use an enumeration to define the states we need for this task. In the init state, the done and execute bits are reset and the next state is set to trigger. In the trigger state, we set the execute bit to true. At first, the trigger state may look unnecessary, but it's needed to ensure that this state machine resets properly. In the read state, call the instance of fb underscore ec coe as do read, passing the input parameters. Note that we don't pass the end parameter variable itself, but its address. A COE read can take several cycles to execute. During this time, the state of the bExecute bit will need to be toggled every scan. Then evaluate if the read is over. If it is, 
set the state machine to the done state. In the done state, evaluate for errors, set the done bit to true, and recycle the state machine. Let's do the same for the COE write. Once again, we start declaring the inputs. They are the same with the exception of the end parameter, which now is an input rather than an output. Note that we are reading and writing an integer. The data type here needs to match your parameters type, otherwise you may get wrong data or an error. Keep that in mind when you'll be writing your own COE code. Our outputs are done writing and error. Our auxiliary variables are b execute, an instance of fb underscore eccoe as do write, and the state enumeration. From this point on, the logic is pretty much the same, so I'll speed it up the video, but feel free to pause it if you need to check something out. We are finally ready to test our code. I'm going to be reading and writing the KP gain from my EL7031 stepper control card. Let's declare some variables in the main. I'm gonna need an instance of FB underscore read COE, an instance of FB underscore write COE, a trigger bit to read, a trigger bit to write, an integer variable to store the value we wanna write. If B read now is true, the FB read EL7031 function block is called. In your IO tree, check the AMS net ID of the Ethercat bus that your device is connected to. Do the same for the slave address. 16 hash denotes hexadecimal base. Enter the index and subindex of the desired parameter. Check if the function block is done reading. If so, reset B read now. Do the same for the COE write function block.
build and activate the project. Go online and test it.